All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023, the Super Mario Bros. movie. Here's the plot. With help from Princess Peach, Mario gets ready to square off against the all-powerful Bowser to stop his plans from conquering the world. Now here is some of the voice cast. So I'm a bit late to this one, but had to wait till the price went down because it was way too much just to rent. It was 24 bucks to buy and then almost that for the rent. So it definitely went down finally. It's been out for a while, uh, but definitely was a super fun and nostalgic film and worth the watch. Uh, I love that they had little nods towards the 90s live action uh, film version. I personally love the 90s film as it was its own thing in my opinion. Uh, definitely a lot of hate for it, but I think that's more of just because that was the first live action film technically of a video game. So um, it is what it is. I don't understand it, but it, it, each, each person's opinion is different. Uh, but this definitely was more true to the game, to be honest. To a degree, as they uh, swapped who Mario saves. I personally don't think Chris Pratt was the best voice actor for the job, as he rarely could do a good Italian accent through this, and if he did an accent at all. Really harp, I didn't really harp on that too much throughout the film, because honestly, at the end, I liked him. And most of the characters... But, to be honest, I love the side characters way more, as weird as that is. The story definitely had some rushness to it, but the story felt mixed, pretty good mixed, even with the nostalgia, action, and comedy. Personally, my favorite part is the introduction to Donkey Kong. I really want him to have a spin-off film now, uh, which we might get since uh, Illusionary or wherever it's probably pronounced, I believe is owned by Marvel, uh, by not Marvel, but by Disney, who owns Marvel. But here's my right now, come back to my final thoughts. I love this film a lot. So fun and very excited to see if this leads to a Nintendo universe like the MCU. But do wish they would have had Yoshi in here. Easily my favorite character next to Mario. However, in my opinion, the only thing about this I really dislike is that horrible Peach song, sung by Jack Black. I love Jack Black. I love most of his stuff. I can't stand that song. It is horrible, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people's opinion. Um, but... Uh, what is your opinion on the film itself? Uh, were you impressed? Were you not impressed? You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm very curious to let me know down below. Do you, do you think it's all worth up all the hype it's been getting? Um, I personally don't think it's the best live action, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, video game because it's not live action, but I know I see so many people and people uh, you know, articles claiming it's the best live action video game. It's not. Uh, it's just, it's animated. So it's by Illuminati or whatever you call it. <laughs> but um, uh, it definitely is definitely way up there, though. It's definitely way in the top three of best, you know, mar uh, game video game films. Even though I know there's a whole, the whole thing around the cloud around video games is not liked. I personally have liked majority of those films that have been turned into uh, live action, or in this case, animation. Um, but uh, yeah, so I remember I love you all. I uh, will see you a video out on Saturday. Uh, remember to hit the bell icon. Remember to like the video. And remember, I love you most importantly. Spread the love. Skull.